come and have fun with Drupal. Welcome back to Drupal Fever. Here we are on the final step in the list of primary requirements to set up a Drupal development environment on your computer. We need to start our CentOS virtual machine. Like I did in the previous video, this one will be done in a neck breaking speed. If you need to catch your breath, you can always pause the video. We need to open a terminal window here. Let's drag it to the corner. And we need to switch to the root user here. Now I will paste the command yum space dash y space install space mysql dash server and press enter. Now yum is downloading the required packages and dependencies. Now I'm restarting Apache just for good measure. And use check config to set the MySQL server to start every time the Linux server starts. Now let's check if everything went fine. As we can see here, MySQL will run on levels 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's start the MySQL server to see if everything works. Looks fine. Now we need to run a security script that you should always run every time you install MySQL. The script is located at slash usr slash bin slash mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Press enter. Now type y. And now create your mysql root password. You need to save this mysql root password for later. Re-enter it. Now type y for all the other questions. Now we are going to open the MySQL configuration file with nano. The configuration file is located at slash etc slash my dot cnf. We can use the control k key combination to delete each line of this file because we are going to replace its content completely. We need to get the MySQL configuration on GitHub on the folder lullabot slash lullabot dash Drupal dash performance dash scalability dash files slash blob slash master slash 04 dash prepping dash MySQL slash my dot cnf. Just copy the whole thing and pay attention to the capitalization, okay? If in the future this URL stops working, you can still get this information in my website or as a last resort, you can pause the video and type the whole thing. Okay, so copy, now paste inside the MySQL configuration file. As you can see, the whole thing is here. Now save and close Nano. Now we need to go to the folder where the MySQL log files are stored. We need to delete three log files. These three files start with IB, so we can remove them all at once like this. Now, as you can see, all the IB files have been removed. So I need to restart the MySQL server 
and as you can see now, the log files have been recreated. Now we need to go to our web server's root folder because we are going to install phpMyAdmin. phpMyAdmin is a web-based tool that will make it very easy for us to manage our MySQL database. So let's search for it on Google. We need to go to the downloads page. We're going to copy the path to the file that has the extension .tar.gz. I'm downloading the English version of phpMyAdmin, but you also have the option to download the all languages version. Just remember to get the file address with the .tar.gz extension. Now we are going to download this file with wget. Let's paste the URL. And now we need to delete the session number in order for this link to work. And we also have to replace the forward slash before the download word with a question mark. Now wget is downloading the PHP MyAdmin installation file into our web root folder. As you can see here, we now have the Drupal Fever folder where my website is located and this compressed file. To decompress this file, we need to use the tar command with the option xvzf. Now, as you can see, we have the PHP MyAdmin folder and the compressed file with the same name. Now, we need to rename the new folder to something a little simpler. As you can see, the folder was renamed. And now we can get rid of the compressed file. So now we have only two folders, the Drupal Fever folder and phpMyAdmin. Now, I need to enter into the phpMyAdmin folder and make a copy of the config.sample.inc.php file. The new file will be called config.inc.php. Now we need to edit this configuration file with nano. Okay, now we need to search. We are searching for this string. You might want to pause this video to copy this. We're going to the end of this line and replace the word cookie with HTTP. Now search again. If you want to pause again to copy this new string, we're going to uncomment several lines here. And on this line specifically, we're going to change the password from PMA pass to a very strong password of your choosing. You can go to town with this password because you never have to type it again. It will be for internal PHP might mean use only. So, okay. So we need to uncomment a few more lines. Let's give it a little room here. So now we save the file and get out of Nano. Now we need to go to the Drupal Fever folder and create a symbolic link to the PHP MyAdmin folder. Let's see what we now have on the Drupal Fever folder. We still have the index file, the PHP info file, and we now have the PHP MyAdmin symbolic link to the PHP MyAdmin folder. So now we need to test the installation of our PHP MyAdmin. We need to type our domain name here and PHP MyAdmin, which is the path to the symbolic link. You need to type the MySQL username, which is root, and the password of the MySQL root user. 
everything looks fine. But the installation is not finished yet because we have a couple of warnings here. The first one we will be taking care of is going to be the one related to the PHP-mcrypt module we installed on the previous video. I googled this warning and found out that the solution to this problem is pretty simple. We need to edit the mcrypt.ini file. There is a little bug here. It was not supposed to be module. It was supposed to be mcrypt. Now save and exit nano. Now that this is fixed, we need to restart Apache in order for this change to take effect. Now let's go to the browser and refresh the page. As you can see here, the mcrypt error is gone. Now I need to take care of the other two warnings. First, I need to import a file that came with the phpMyAdmin installation files. This file is located on the phpMyAdmin folder inside of the examples folder. The file is called create underscore tables dot SQL. Let's go down and we need to click on the go button. Importing has successfully finished. It created the PHP MyAdmin database with all these tables. And the last thing we need to do is to run a SQL query. This query will create a new user. Let's paste it. If you want to pause and copy this query, you can do now, or you can get this query from my website. The query will create the PMA user and give the appropriate privileges to it. And you need to change this password here with the one you used on the phpMyAdmin configuration file. You also have to type the same password here. These are the only two things you will have to change on this query. So now go. Okay, now the users table show that the PMA user was created. So now we need to log out of phpMyAdmin. We cannot log back in immediately because it will try to use the same session ID. Now when you enter back into phpMyAdmin, you can see that there are no more warnings. PHP MyAdmin is fully and completely installed and now it's time to close my browser and exit the terminal. You now have AMP installed and ready for Drupal. So subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter to be informed about my next video which is going to be about how to install Drush in this environment. Talk to you guys later.